Second and 14. And five in the pattern. Heineke will send it deep downfield, and it is incomplete. Third and 14. Heineke with time throws it underneath. True reality is calmer and more civil days ahead. Second drive for Washington. Heineke has nobody. Third and six. Four options for Heineke. He will flip it, and it's caught by Sims. Near midfield, stays on his feet. He's down at the 47-yard line. Tampa brings pressure, picked up for the moment. Heineke has it deflected, and it looks like it's intercepted. Sean Murphy bunting got the hands down. said I was sitting in the back of the room. They were throwing me sandwiches and water. <laughs> now we're going to throw you in against the Bucks. He's on the run here and throws complete, looking good. And Logan Thomas turns it up the field and into Tampa territory. Bucks certainly being aggressive. Todd Bowles testing Heineke here early on. Four-man rush, and with time in the middle, it's caught by McLaurin to the 34-yard line. Mr. New England quarterback for the last two decades. Second and eight, Heineke eludes the jump, takes off, and he will get the first down at the 20-yard line. Uh, Bowles, four years the Jets head coach. Again, the pressure coming. Heineke gets rid of it, sideline, and it is caught for the first down by Steven Sims. What a throw. So Washington has it first and goal. Gibson is the back. And Heineke. Looking to take off, and he'll get down and gain a couple of yards. Just one start. First down throw is Kamal Adams in the Rams' win in Seattle. Second and five, and Heineke's throw to the sideline. And only four rush this time. Heineke fires complete. Very close as Sims stretches it out, and that mark will get him the first down at the 35. First team all pro and just shoved him back. Second and six, Heineke to Terry McLaurin. First down at the 43-yard line. 43 pressure coming up the middle is picked up. Heineke has time and throws sideline incomplete. Again. Third and nine, here they come. The Heineke pass is incomplete. Sims wants the flag on Carlton Davis. No flag coming. It's fourth. This team down 11, taking over to 25. Taylor Heineke with a collapsing pocket will go down. The ball comes out in there as well. At first it was ruled that recovery or not, or that the play was whistled down there. In any case, it is second and 16, and that pass is dropped by Steven Sim. Third and 16, they overload the rush to Heineke's left. He has time and strokes it. It's caught, but short of the first down. Steven Sims at the 30th. Obviously, the division was bad. But still, they represent and won when it mattered most. Throwing from the 10, it's McKissick out of the backfield. And seen his pick up rather than release into the pass routes. Final 10 seconds. Heineke escaping for the moment. On the run, gets the first down. Gets out of bounds with just three seconds. You nod your approval when he said Taylor Heineke's been great. Given the situation, it has not been his fault just yet. Nothing open on first down. He's looking to get rid of it. And smartly took the time. One less day to rest the cat. A big reason they could not get ready to go. Terry McLaurin with the catch here. From the 42. With a flag down, Heineke will throw to McLaurin underneath. Only First and five. Play action with Heineke. He does. It's Logan Thomas to the 23-yard line. So here he is now calling the plays for Heineke, who escapes on the run. He'll get four and go down quickly. It's early 2000s. Third and four here for Heineke. Five in the pattern. Big play. And it's nearly intercepted throughout this seven and nine year. Heineke got rid of it quick and uh, almost caught it and just knocked it down. So that should be an easy Third and seven, five in the pattern. Heineke trying to buy some time. Can he run for it? He will get the first down and go out of bounds, although there is a flag down. And flag thrown, and it's third and 17 now. From the 35. A deep drop Heineke, and he'll just outlet it and get it out to Logan Thomas. Taylor Heineke from the 39. Throws complete. Brought in by Cam Sims. Ready. 
Second and 11. Heineke in some trouble, able to escape. Get past the line and on the run gets the first down to the 30 yard line. What a job scrambling by Heineke. Distance to the 13 yard line. Four man rush. Heineke protected, takes the underneath, sends again, looks for the hurdle. And so the Pro Bowler from the Bills and the Vikings, third and five. Heineke in trouble again. He's able to escape. Keeps the play alive. Runs for the first down. Dives to the pylon. Is he in? Is he in? Oh, yes. yes. Touchdown. What a run. Me. <laughs> what a play. play by Heineke. What a play. Wow. And I'm saying this is the one time he took too long, but he keeps his eyes upfield, squirts around in there, and then he's got some speed that they didn't know he had. Runs away from everybody trying to hit that pylon. And does he hit the pylon with the football? Yes, he does. That's a touchdown. Before anything else comes out, what a play. He goes from the four. Keeps his body off the ground. Now, of course, they're and going for the, the two to tie it up. <laughs> Adjustment to the play. They bring it. Logan Thomas has a lot of bodies to fight through. And he's any thought when they heard Alex Smith. Couldn't go because of the calf injury. In the 25, Heineke has a double clutch and just gets rid of it at the feet of Gibson. And Heineke looked to be hurt a little bit as he was thrown down to the ground. He hasn't been hit much, to be honest. Second and ten. And he'll just dump it out here for Gibson. And they have been all over the short passing game. To third and nine. But just brings three and the late pressure comes Heineke flings it into traffic and it's incomplete Tampa will take over at the 31 Pitched out and dove hit the pylon and landed on that left shoulder we did take a peek <laughs> Antonio Gibson is the back and Heineke with some time will get it to Jeremy Sprinkle the tight end called for the first time tonight a couple shy of the the 33 is Heineke finding that seam and finding Sims again to the 40 yard line. Heineke's throwing for 240 on the night. Adds four here as he hits Logan. Second and six, seven minutes remaining. Take Gibson out of the backfield, he'll get a couple. That's when Heineke got his one start in week 16. Here, third and three, and the first down picked up. First half, and he hits this one. Now six for six on the drive. This will only get the experience he has built up for this moment. Five and a half left. Heineke flinging it over the middle. It is caught at the 11-yard line by McLaurin. Five in the pattern. Heineke flings it to the end zone. Incomplete almost. Levante David getting his hands on an interception that he would have had a lot of grass to run with. It would be at the one. Third and ten. And protected, throwing that corner route. And can Sims, did he get the feet down? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Steven Sims. Days alive. And this is a corner route by Steven Sims. Great route, but what a throw. Right on the money. Away from the defender. Drag the feet. Oh, that is just excellent. Excellent execution. Top end offensive line needs to duplicate what it did. They kept him clean on that drive. Here we go from the 25. Heineke flings it in the middle, caught a flag in the middle of the field. Gain a set. You remember, Washington is out of timeout, so they cannot challenge anything on this side of the two minute warning. Heineke fires, and it's caught by Cam Sims again. Times here today, to your point. Those two flags stop the clock. Huge bonus there for Washington from the 48. Heineke throws incomplete. Going for that man, Sims, in Washington's cause out of timeouts. Five in the pattern. Swing it out. Brought in by McKissick on the sideline. He lost control. Will that be a catch? Did he have control? 22. It's third and 10, and the pressure's coming. Heineke, look out from behind. He gets brought down and sacked by Levante David. A big loss there. It will set up fourth down, and we'll see if Washington will just regroup at the two-minute warning. Listen, but they're going to sit back there and play coverage. They rush four. Heineke still is flushed. He's pressured. He's got to fling it. Got to have it. Oh, and incomplete. Logan
Logan Thomas. And the guy who started 299 games.